shot, Jordan. Another VAR decision. When it matters the most. Nowhere near the ball, they've just shown the replay. Penalty number three given by VAR. A month of content comes down to this. All the matches, goals, upsets and stories has resulted in this finale. Lucille, where Messi lifted the World Cup, someone tonight lifts the Asian Cup. Jordan, 87th FIFA ranking, never entered a final before. Qatar, in 58th, destroyed at the World Cup and have changed their manager constantly. Jordan took down some greats like Iraq and South Korea. Qatar were challenged too with the likes of Iran and Uzbekistan. But before we head to the iconic stadium, let me show you what I've been up to. We begin at the B12 Beach Club because we are meeting David Beckham. I don't he is a footballing English legend. I think this trip is topped. I've got to say a big thank you to Qatar Airways for making it possible. David Beckham's entered the building here at B12 Beach Club. Very exciting, loads of security. The weather is perfect. He's in the soup. I'm in this. He's always smart as hell. Even at a beach club, he's in the soup. Legend of the game. It's crazy to see David Beckham's biggest fans. No matter where you go around the world, this is the support he has. Score prediction for the final. We'll see, it'll be a tough one. Yeah? Both teams. Thank you. So you're just trying to make I can't believe I've met Leo and David in a week. The Jordan party starts now. My man's up, it's ready. We're about to head to the stadium, but first, I've just been given a gift from AFC. I have no idea what it is. You have one second to guess, and if you don't get it, you have to hit the like button. The match ball! They've only made 70 of these Kelme, and we have one of them. Right, hold on. Qatar to win. 3-1, are you serious? I think honestly it's going to be 3 1 to Jordan, hopefully, and then wow. we're going to go back to Amman with the, with the cup. With the cup, yeah? Uh, Mosa Tamari will score a hat trick, inshallah. 2 1 Jordan. 2 1. 4 uh, 2. 5 1. These girls are confident, I can't believe it. 2 1 Qatar. 3 1. Hey, Allah! Allah! Get off there! The Jordan fans are here! Inshallah, today yeah. the score is going to be 2 1 Jordan. You're going to win the cup, what's the first thing you're going to do to celebrate? I will eat Mansaf. Very kind of you. Beautiful. We're eating a Mansaf in Lucille. Oh, no, the results yeah. coming in. Staying here uh, all night, <laughs> celebrating with the other fans. Mansaf. Hiya! Hiya! Today Jordan will. Flip upside down Qatar, Magluba! 2-1 <laughs> for Qatar. 2-1 Qatar. It's been a cracking tournament. Great to see all the countries come out. Putting on an absolute atmosphere. Yeah. Hopefully, Jordan 3-2. Hey Allah! Hey Allah! I love it. Indonesia! Indonesia! Who's gonna win? We're gonna win, we're gonna win. If Jordan win, I'm getting in with the Morocco shirt. Big shout out to uh, Amuta. Now we've seen what heard what people have to say. I never expected a final between Jordan and Qatar. Could it be at Thief? Could it be Musa? We're gonna find out. Let's get in there. We made it inside the stadium here at Lucille. We've got said, what's your score prediction today? How are you gonna celebrate? <laughs> we've got Amro. Are you ready for all the action? First five minutes will decide, I think. Who's gonna be controlling the game? So we're rooting for Qatar, I think, one name Qatar. Back to back Asian Cups is a massive statement. Seven host nations reached the final before. This is the seventh time I think Qatar should follow the trend. It's history. Let's see if Qatar can rewrite itself. The Jordan players come out throwing the balls to the fans here. And here come Qatar coming out to train for the first time, one hour till kickoff. They look ready, don't they? And they're ultras already. Scarves flying, dobes on. They look the part, don't they? Nasama! 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 Come on! Here we go, are you ready for this? Professional. Here we go, final ready. Amuta! Amuta! Amuta and everyone at Jordan bringing the success. Still with me wherever I go. Here comes the big silver trophy. If you win, you're coming to Georgia. Okay, that's the deal. So it's a little block of Jordan fans opposite is the Qataris there. And only one trophy available. Look at the lights there. Look at that. He's got it already. The final showdown. 
at Lusail. It all comes down to this. So many teams enter this competition. And finally, we're down to two nations to see who takes it. The big favourites are Qatar, having won this last and being at home. So far, a stunning show. There's the tunnel on the opening match. We were in there. And in the final match, we're just above it. As the players are about to walk out here, so many photographers. Smash the like. This is the Lusail final Asian Cup experience. There he is. In here. He's ready for a Jordan Masterclass. <laughs> National anthems complete. Respect to both countries, whatever happens today. The lift of arms, here we go. And we're underway here. Qatar kick us off. A few Jordan fans in the upper tier there. First chance of the game goes to Jordan. It's a good ball. Ah, it's too far. And from a thief, takes the corner short. Interesting tactic. Free shot, it's over. And from a thief, early doors. Safe. That's all look good. And they will get chances. And where's Ali? Unbelievable defending, and it had to be. They've just lumped it forward, and Jordan have found some space on the left flank. Shots off. First of the day. Great chance. And nine out of the time. And again. <laughs> now the ball's in. Oh! Best chance of the day. Good touch for a few. No way. Qatar get a penalty. That was a very quick decision. And if there's contact on a thief, it's going to be given. 20 minutes in. Well, the referee, I don't think he's going to think twice. It's Abu Leila against Akram Afif. A last minute change of penalty takers because he earned it after all. A country of 3 million. An Asian Cup holder from UAE. Now back at Lusail with the big moment to score the opening goal in the final. Akram Afif. Scores! The opening goal of the game. He took the chance well. He earned the penalty. He's turning out to be a big game player. And Qatar, the host station, is currently leading at Lusail. Qatar looking dominant. Searching for the second. Headed. Manager Amuta hoping to take anything now. Dive, 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 dive. He's not giving it, and that's the correct decision. Oh my god! What a chance. Against the odds. Here come Jordan. Oh! Just before half time, proving they can do it. Moves us straight into the tunnel. Half time. As they stand, Qatar winning 1 0. Some questionable decisions and a dead ball penalty has split the two teams. I do feel like Jordan have had some very good chances and they can come back in. I you know what, Qatar getting that penalty. Yeah. Look, I, I think it could be game over, I'll be honest with you. So the Qataris eating the Mansa for me. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Here come the players again for both teams. 45 minutes to decide the whole Asian Cup. Start the second half, short corner, Jordan. It's a good ball as well. Gets the ball back. Jordan, overhead. Unbelievable. And you have to respect this dog for that in a final. So close. All the fans around me. They feel it coming. Fourth corner of the day for Jordan. Just imagine the scenes. Every single fan who couldn't get a ticket today. All the fans at home. Everyone watching on telly to go completely mash noon. Oh! Jordan are fighting and they're getting better and better. Is it coming? Another great save. Flick! Oh! 61st minute. I don't know how they're going to score. The game's so close. Chance Jordan! Players go wild! Look at the emotion! Look at the emotion! 
unbelievable. Football is mentality. And Jordan kept going. And they got what they deserved. There, the Moroccan manager stays cool, calm and collect. Whatever he said at half time, well 20 minutes later they scored. The Moroccans doing the business. Qatar looking for another penalty. I don't believe this. The referee's checking VAR. I don't believe this. Qatar to get another penalty. If he gives this, I am genuinely speechless. From the sidelines I didn't see anything. I'm trying to stay neutral. I am just, just surprised. This would really make you think, what does a final come down to? Oh, God. No way. Nowhere near the ball. They've just shown the replay. Nowhere near the ball. I'm trying to be neutral here, but that is out of this world. I'm surprised they showed it on the big screen. I can't believe the scale. I am very, very shocked right now. Will he be able to score a second time? Look where the goalkeeper's position. The mind games begin. The Jordanian keeper. Can he become a hero? When it matters the most. <laughs> Two one cut off. I have no words. Headed. Oh my days. Still time and a lot of additional time as well because there has been moments in the second half where the game's been stopped. Qatar. Good save. I don't believe it. The referee's going to VAR again. He says no red card on hit on the screen. Another decision that goes to VAR in against Jordan. Moroccan coaches are in shock. No red card player. Salem with a long ball in. Jordan just keep going. Handball? Is that handball? I mean, he has to look at VAR. Wow, the squeals begin. The ref says play on without having a look. 13 minutes additional time. Maybe we will have another twist. We're on scoring. One more goal. There's definitely time for it. And that goal looks like it's going to go to Akron Afi. Offside. Just as he was about to give the penalty. And look, the Qatar players right in his face. No one is looking after the linesman. Another VAR decision to Qatar. Jordan fans want to call the game off. I've never seen this many VARs in my life. I think the story, this match, will be talked about for longer than people think. VAR check number five. Could there be a third possible penalty? Look at, the, look at the Jordan players. He wants to call it off. And the goalkeeper's been booked. Penalty number three given by VAR to Qatar. The goalkeeper is clapping the referee. He's being sarcastic, making jokes about this game. That kind of thief to get his full penalty hatchet in the Asian Cup final. Today has been unbelievable. Here we go. And it's taken. Qatar remains champion of Asia. That is game over in the 90th minute. Any moment now, the referee will blow his whistle to crown Qatar champions. Three goals to one. There will be questions in the comments. Yeah, what's your thoughts? Do you know what? I have to look back at the VAR positions later. Here we go. The bench celebrating the goal kick to win Qatar and remain champions of Asia. The bullshit champion. There it is. Qatar stay champions of Asia. On. The Fair Play Awards has gone to Qatar. The top goal scorer of the tournament. Here come the Jordanians. Let's not forget what a tournament that they have had. Knocking out South Korea and Iraq. 
just to mention a couple. Many wins along the way. Nobody thought they'd be in the final in itself. Fair play, Jordan. The moment of truth for Qatar. The captain takes the trophy, and now. They keep the trophy and win as the hosting nation. Congratulations, Qatar. Overall, it's been a great time here. I've really enjoyed the whole month. I will be leaving tomorrow. And in the end, Qatar the crown champions. There it is, here in Lucelle Boulevard, we come to the end of the journey. The Asian Cup is complete. A month of content in Qatar and a little trip to Saudi. And you know what, guys? I have loved it. Smash the like for the Thogden Army. Now, people are going to be asking me, Theo, what's your opinions on the decisions today? Do you know what? From the fans' perspective, it's difficult. So I'm going to let the comments decide what they think. But Qatar have been brilliant all tournament, and we can't take that away from them. So, guys, thank you for watching all the content throughout. It's time for me to fly back to England. I've loved it, but I should hopefully be back out here in a week for a charity match. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.